swagger on another level. Here comes Mello. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! You hear him say it? You hear the fans say it? Mello, don't miss. Yeah, for once I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring. Time for Melo to make that money. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker ready to dominate. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Breaker! We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Facing a man in Carmelo Hayes who gets under his opponent's skin before the match even starts. The question is, can this guy focus and put Melo away? Everything his own way. It's like he's his own vibe. Oh, we know when Melo is not competing in the ring, he's in the lab raising his game. The man is ready for anything. Melo is running gun. He's showtime, and he has the killer mentality that's crucial if you're going to reach the top of this business. And then you have someone like Braun Breaker, someone who was born into this business and has to prove every time he steps into the ring why he belongs in it. He belongs in it, Saxton, because he has an aptitude for flattening his opponents like pancakes. Call it genetic, call it natural. Just put some respect on Braun Breaker's name here. Oh, that hurt. And he had Braun's number there. Kick from behind. Ouch. Ooh, well measured. And that intensity of Braun's got tapered down a bit there. Yeah, as Hayes was giving him a bitter taste of his impressive offense. Steiner, nicely done. The confidence of Carmelo Hayes has to be a lot for anyone to overcome, even Braun Breaker. While Melo's hubris is certainly unshakable, it can be used against him, Cole. Braun Breaker has to focus on utilizing his strength advantage against Hayes. Keep him grounded and rely on that amateur mat technique. That sort of pressure should put some cracks in Melo's foundation. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. <laughs> Targeting the throat there. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Into the ring again. Carmelo Hayes. 
Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. He thinks he has it. He's able to kick out before two. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Off the road. Out. Good God. Picked out of midair into a power slam. Setting them up for a double underhook slam. He turns it around. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And finds a counter, taking this match off the mat now. From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. Uh-oh. Trying to capitalize. Oh, a double knee face buster. Call the and one for Mello after that. Two. And they kick out at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Elbow throw. Carmelo Hayes with a suplex into a cutter. Can Hayes put things away here? applied for a good Watch. measure. Had that one scouted. Went back into the ring. Carmelo is feeling a rush of confidence right now. Watch out. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad land. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Planning on what to do next. Oh my gosh, what impact. Carmelo turns out away. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Look at the arm. 
or a Fujiwara armbar. Oh, and Fujiwara armbar applied. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. There he goes, right into the corner. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. Reversal from Braun. Braun and Mello have poured every ounce of blood, sweat, and tears into this match tonight. My God, enough! And he saw that coming from Braun. Moves outside, what's the plan here? Crippling attack on the knee. Throws the opposition back into the ring. Hey, he's putting on a little display for the WWE Universe. Tilt the wall, face buster. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an open. Launching. Mello, don't miss. Nothing but nip. That might have not break a lot for good. Carmelo Hayes has done it. What a win. Here is your winner. Carmelo Hayes able to get the upset over Braun Breaker in this one. While Melo put on an incredible performance in the ring, I think the target on his back just got bigger. Braun has to already be figuring out where he went wrong. What could have been better? Breaker is going to come back fully prepared. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. I'd like to preface this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend.
Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. The czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya. Absolutely unbridled aggression every time Dragunov competes. Pure intensity in the eyes of Dragunov. That's beyond intensity, Saxton. Those are the eyes of a man possessed. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to see Dragunov compete here tonight. Ilya Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out to his competition. Yeah, there's Relentless, and then there's Dragunov. He doesn't care what toll this match takes on his or his opponent's body, just as long as he comes out on top. A man driven by a relentless fury who attacks without hesitation. Ilya Dragunov is ready to fight here tonight. But across the way is the new and improved Baron Corbin. After many tribulations, Corbin has rediscovered his edge and reforged himself. He's done messing around and demands to be both feared and respected by his fellow superstars. Yeah, Corbin is now a man with a purpose. He's a driven and merciless individual who sees every match as a chance to put his foot down. And a driven Baron Corbin makes for one scary opponent. DDT! Senton connects. Comes crashing down. Look out! A roll of the dice, and it pays off in full. We know Corbin is not afraid of a brawl, but what if his opponent decides to turn this into a technical contest? Look, Cole, raw power and brute force can beat even the most seasoned grappler, and that's the case with Corbin. He needs to hit hard. Sleeper hold, cinched it, and breaks out of the sleeper. What's he got in store? Choke slam, backbreaker by Corbin. I don't think Ilya enjoyed taking that attack head on. Goodness gracious. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Keeping them in position. Here it comes. Ooh. That has to take all the breath out of you. Got to find a way to get out of this. Lands face first. And he stonewalls Corbin. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. He went right into that turnbuckle. Big splash. That was more splatter than splash. Look at this, just unloading. And it looks like Dragunov is bleeding after that. And a series of vicious stomps. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stomp someone like that. And he's able to... 
able to counter. Oh. Big kick. Out to the apron, gonna climb up to the top rope. What do they have in mind here? Pointed a long way away, all the way across the ring. Launching themselves on a coast to coast. Ilya Dragunov showing off with shoulders down. And that's a big win right there. And I'm gonna check on a... Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar... No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove? The most extravagant, flamboyant, eccentric, and gorgeous team in WWE history. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall, making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 357 pounds. The NXT UK Tag Team Champions. Elton Prince and Kit Wilson, pretty deadly. Dominated the NXT UK and NXT tag divisions as soon as they arrived. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack. Despite their outfits and antics, this is a highly competent and accomplished tag team. Hopefully they can focus on their in-ring work here tonight. They've shown their focus every single match, Saxton. Pretty deadly are everything their name says they are and more. Here comes Angel and Umberto. Fighting for their family name, and the ladies love it. And their opponents at a combined weight of 403 pounds. Angel Garza and Umberto Los Lotharios. I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat, but they've brought a new level of aggression as of late. I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton.
I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. And Corey, I know you could feel a collective gasp in the ladies around the arena for Los Lotharios. Well, if this could kill, these guys would have a rap sheet a mile long. And in the ring, they're just as deadly. Technique as sharp as Umberto's dimples. I'm glad one of us said it, Corey, but I'll be damned if it was going to be me. Well, pretty deadly might not take things seriously. You can't deny how dangerous they actually are inside the ring. They should not be taken lightly. I agree, Saxton. Except for the part about them not being serious. Look what they're wearing. Serious care was put into that. Just like serious care is put into everything they do. You saw that one coming. Continuing to work on the arm with a... Big elbow. Hung out to dry. Ooh, man. it back around. Scoop slam sets things up. And into the count. Two just gets the shoulder up. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Boom. As the wrist trapped. And this is just next level brutality. Just never had a chance to block any of those. And lock applying a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Right to the kidneys from behind. He can do it here. Ah, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here are your winners. Elton Prince. And Kit Wilson, pretty deadly! Kit Wilson and Elton Prince proving with this win just why they are pretty deadly. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. The evil genius of the sky is here, and our reign of terror is about to begin. A woman who has quickly taken control of the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. Representing Damage Control from Tokyo, Japan, Io. Io Sky's list of titles in Japan is a mile long across every major women's division. 
Now here in WWE, Io has continued that success, but she has something now she didn't have then. She has control. Io Sky made her mark in NXT history as one of the most accomplished superstars in the brand's entire history. Yeah, but Io's change in attitude and her new allies ensure even more success in WWE. A highly impressive aerialist, Caden Carter. This is going to be good. And from the Philippines, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Caden Carter! A championship winning college basketball standout, a bona fide athlete, and has continued her success in WWE. Ari has won the NXT Women's Tag Titles, and I see plenty more success in her future. Carter getting the WWE Universe hyped, and I can't wait. Oh, indeed, I believe a highlight reel performance is in order tonight. Io Sky ready to take this match to new heights here tonight. You don't earn the name Genius of the Sky by being anything less than innovative, Michael. While her offense might seem wild at times, it's obvious the amount of planning and calculation that goes into each movement. When Io Sky takes to the top rope, people often draw the parallel to an air show. Now lucky for us, Byron, we have front row seats. But let's turn our attention to the life of the party, Caden Carter. Caden has an awesome, upbeat attitude and keeps the fun rolling when she's in the ring with plenty of agile moves and high-flying attacks. There's really no denying that Caden Carter's just flat-out fun to watch. She brings the energy in a big way and immediately grabs your attention with how effortless she makes some attacks look. I right, take her head clean off her shoulders. Honing in on the arm. Punching their way out of that one. Got a set out mat slam. We know Io Sky has the ability, but could her lack of size be a detriment in this match? Like many superstars of her stature, Cole, we know it's more about the size of the fight in the dog than the size of the dog in the fight. And Io Sky is bursting at the seams with that fighting spirit. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow up ones definitely will. Flying. Daddy front drop kick. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? After a move like that, you might feel like the room is spinning. A back suplex. A handstand into a double knee drop. Both wrists captured and pow! to do as much damage as possible. Toss back into the ring. The genius of the sky showing off a little bit for the folks on the ground. Drop kick. A huge target. Her shoulders are down. And she's not done yet. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. And a kick. Oh my God, the moonsault. Hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove?
one of the UK's best exports. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, the NXT UK champion, Tyler Bates! Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bate is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bate has remarkable poise to go with the flow. Few competitors can match Bates' in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, the NXT Champion, Drew Gulak! Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. That's one of the many things I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-rings. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Billy. Agonizing hole. Got to find a way out, and they do. Oof. Oh, backdrop suplex. him off. First a knife edge chop and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Oh God. As the arm bar stretch in. Punishing stretch. Can't lift anyone at that sh shoulders down. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes. Go. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Oh, God. That looked devastating. If Drew Gulak wants to pick up the win tonight, he needs to control the pace. A methodical approach will ensure his opponent's destruction. I think you're onto something there, Corey, and I'm sure Gulak would love the opportunity to slowly pull apart his opponent. All the way out, Plex! Such a potent display of power and control there. Jawbreaker interrupts the attack. Setting it up. Brain buster! And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. Nobody likes you. Oh, he fights bait back. Oh, what's going to happen here? Nice. Bridging fall away slam. Impressive. <laughs> Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Here's the torture rack. Racked up, not finished yet. Into a neckbreaker. Go 
goes into the pin. There's two! And a kick out at two. He thought he had... Uh-oh. Shifts it back onto him. What a German suplex. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. No way! Oh, straight to the floor! A huge miss! There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Gulak saves himself. And he gets set back into the ring. Look at this. Snap suplex. Is it enough? Two. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner. suffering a loss here tonight. Tyler Bate tried everything he could, but he just came up short. Hopefully he used this as a moment of reflection to see what worked and what didn't, because clearly something didn't. Here comes a high-flying feeder. This is going to be fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey, the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan. Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Frazier was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins, perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. Well, that training's apparent from Nathan Frazier's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil-may-care attitude towards any opponent. High flying, high risk, high reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. Pennsylvania, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT Champion, Adam Cole. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. The champ planning to show his dominance of this division with an emphatic win tonight.
intertitle bout here where we have a confident champion who knows the title is going nowhere tonight. Yeah, Cole, but it shouldn't mean he can take this match lightly. A champion always represents a measuring stick to the competition, a chance to make a bold statement at the expense of someone in a prime position. The champ is truly in a prime position tonight. This might be a preview of his next title fight right now. And his opponent is the young Nathan Frazier. He's really been pegged as one to watch since arriving here. See him in the ring and you'll understand. Uh-oh. Oh. Somersault plunge out of the floor. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. And we know Nathan Frazier is all heart, but not exactly the biggest competitor. Corey, you think his size is going to play a factor in this one? Potentially put an even bigger target on him? Well, it's not like we haven't seen smaller superstars scale the peaks of WWE, Cole, but a smart opponent can always find a way to use something like this against you. Emphasis on smart. And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You can say that again. Time to get the lead out. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Eye of the counter. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Executed into the pin attempt. Oh, somehow still in it. Oh man, adding a little flair to a damage and impact. Quite the showmanship. Oh, he got him. Is he gonna lock this in? Looking to apply in trouble here. A couple of elbows to the jaw, and that'll break things up. Shot to the patella. Uh oh. Patella drop brain buster. Compressing the neck with that kind of force can't feel good. Two count. Man, that was such a long and hard fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, Adam Cole. And Nathan Frazier will just have to accept this loss. All the hard work, all the guts, in the end, it just wasn't enough for Nathan Frazier. Yeah, but someone had to be the loser, and tonight, it was him. One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Adelaide, South Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley! 
Messing with Rhea Ripley is just plain dangerous. Her power, her intensity, and her complete lack of remorse makes her a one-of-a-kind threat. Well, what's really scary is it seems like Rhea is only getting stronger, more lethal. She's deadlier today than she was even just yesterday. Ripley seems more than happy to get things started. MMA pioneer. In fact, Shayna Baszler finished most of her matches by submission. And those skills have translated to WWE Women's Division dominance. Ah, this woman's about to face the nightmare of the Women's Division. And you know Rhea Ripley will not let up the moment she steps inside that ring. Shayna Baszler here looking ready for action. A superstar known for her very technical, very methodical style in the ring. That catches, catch can style that drives her offense. Considered a submission magician. Baszler said it herself. Whoever's in the ring with her, they have three very clear options. Tap, snap, or neck. More superstars could learn a thing or two about succinctness from Baszler. Her style definitely leaves little room for interpretation outside of those three very clear directives. But across the ring is any superstar's nightmare. Rhea Ripley, a competitor with a remarkable strength and a mean streak to match it. Overcoming Ripley's incredible talents and brutal tactics tonight, it's going to be a tall order. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurt someone like that. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Stops Baszler's attack right there. And a well -ex back and forth we go. And Baszler had it scattered. Nothing pretty here. Just good old fashioned fisticuffs. Countered it just in time. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Rhea Ripley cannot allow intimidation to be a factor tonight. Baszler's sadistic nature and natural talent in the ring can easily make you second-guess yourself. Ripley needs to push all of that out of her mind and take the fight straight to Shayna. That's sound advice, Corey. Ripley can't allow Baszler to get inside her head and shake her up. It's going to take confidence to put down the Queen of Spades. Control. And a big oh. Oh, oh, man. Oh, sit out slam. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Up high. Diving hammer strike. Into the 
cover. And she kicks out at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Impressive defense stops Ripley. Shayna Baszler has it cinched in. Tap time, tap out time. Ah, Rhea Ripley, Rhea's gonna tap out. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? It seems that tensions are rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Careful to clutch. This one's going to be over soon. She's going to break down the legs. This is over. Uh-oh, the end is near. Oh, my goodness, she did it. What a win for this superstar. Yeah, but she doesn't seem to physically, oh my, be doing too well. I mean, we saw how physical this battle was. No surprise that uh, she's a little worse for wear afterwards. Yeah, injuries are an un unfortunate part of this game, but she's gingerly making her way out of the ring. But in the midst of all the pain, she can call herself the winner. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds. Triple H! Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow. From a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. We've got a storm of aggression on the horizon. Here comes Mark Coffey. Mark Coffey is the epitome of brute strength and uses that to mark his territory. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow. 
go, Scotland. Weighing in at 238 pounds, Mark Coffey. It shouldn't be a surprise that Mark Coffey's out here smashing people. He trained with Finn Balor before going to Japan and then made an impact in NXT. And Coffey has already experienced success in tag and singles competition. He held the NXT UK tag titles for 497 days, won the NXT UK Heritage Cup, and has also been an NXT Tag Team Champion. Most opponents are not prepared for the fury that comes when Mark Coffey competes. And in the ring is Triple H, the so-called King of Kings. He spent his entire career asserting his dominance here in WWE, forcing others to submit to his authority. As far as he's concerned, all must bow before the King. Triple H has an almost fanatical desire to accumulate power and enforce his will with an iron fist and, often, a sledgehammer. Yeah, when it comes to protecting his throne, the King of Kings will use any and every weapon at his disposal. But Mark Coffey is all business, and his business tends to involve a swift fist to the head. There's no safe quarter when you're in the ring with this Scotsman. When you get into the ring against Coffey, you better be ready for a fight, because he always is. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. He deflects it right back. He got whipped into that corner. Shot to the midsection connects. Oh, God. Drives a foot into the stomach. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Looking to take flight here. Taking flight. Ooh. Ooh. He could pin his opponent right here. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! And a shoulder in the air. This isn't even close to over. Mark finding an opening. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Now look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, oh. stop right to the hand. Oh, Whoa. man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Put it in position now. Oh, watch this, fellas. Oh, no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomp to the hand. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Thrown back in under the ropes. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to buy... Taking flight! Back on a splash! And that winning strike, here's a cover. He narrowly avoids the count. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Oh. in sight. Mark Coffey in control. He takes down his opponent, and there is crowning glory. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Oh, driving the elbow. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Mark didn't see that coming. Continuing to work on the leg of his opponent. Ouch! Leg breaker. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too.
And he gets delivered back into the ring. Hip toss. And the game got outplayed with that offensive strike. There's been plenty of action in this match. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. <laughs> Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. to the stomach gives them separation. Oh, Flip over Russian leg sweep. Arm is trapped. Cross face submission. Will they tap? Triple H, mate. Arm is trapped. Cross face. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Nice way to transition out of it. Mark with the wherewithal to avoid that. He steers clear of contact. Oh, shit breaker. The end is looming now. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's trying to... Muscling his way out of the submission. Ah, oh, flipping this. Triple H looking to end this match. Oh, wow, Triple H got it. The cover. And they're still in this. Had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? You can tell Triple H thought this Makes one was the over. Cover. The game is completely enraged right now. Absolutely exhausted. Put everything into the match here tonight, and oh, look who's here. But there is no time to rest. You can feel the tensions rising. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Brutes! That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub, so that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger.
He is plastic, but that arm is not looking fantastic. And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes! The son of a fully posable son of a plumber is here and ready to finish the story. Flesh or plastic, injured or healthy, there's nothing that will stop Cody Rhodes on his road to glory. The WWE Universe is on their feet for this action figure. American Nightmare. The American Nightmare is all kinds of pumped up for this one. Underneath that hard plastic shell beats the heart of a true competitor. Cody Rhodes is ready to fight. Butch is always itching for a fight. Safe to say he's got a hair trigger. Once he goes off, there really is no easy way to stop him. Completely uncontrollable, totally unpredictable. That's Butch. But you kind of have to admire his blind ferocity. It can be pretty impressive seeing him batter and bruise the competition with reckless abandon. That's right, Corey. Butch is never just out to win a match. He's here to take his opponent apart piece by piece. And across from him is Cody Rhodes, who looks just like the real thing, only slightly more plastic. Looks aside, this Cody Rhodes is just as intimidating an opponent as the Cody we saw compete in Hell in a Cell. I can barely believe our eyes, but like you said, that's Cody. I'm sure he'll bring the same intensity, the same incredibly high skill level that we are used to seeing from Rhodes night after night to this match. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh. Cross face. And it rolls him off. And Cody didn't see that coming. In the close line. Cover. And the referee stops the count before two. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Really just laying it in. Butch loves to just attack his opponents at full speed, but the key to victory can't be that simple, can it? Butch used to be extremely deliberate in his strategy, Cole, but now he throws himself full force at his opponent. But that old methodical style is still dormant within Butch, so he should use it. Rhodes denies the attack. Look at this, going counter for counter. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. What an incredible moonsault. And a direct attack brought to Butch there. Yeah, that smash mouth style of Cody's coming to the service. Able to reverse that one. your perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Now Butch has one thing in mind. Butch looking for the end. Butch can put it away here. Two. Somehow he kicked out. Cody Rhodes with a defiant kick out, simply refusing to stay down. Sky high. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Rhodes could be on the verge of seeing stars. Butch looking for it. There it is. Bend. Terrible position for Rhodes. Two. Finally, it's over. Here is your winner. A big-time win for Butch here in this one.
You've got to hand it to Butch. The Savage Scrapper got the job done.